Well, one of the very exciting things about being on the new campus is that our research laboratories um, and our facilities for clinical research are here right next to where we take care of our patients. In terms of epilepsy overall, in the last few decades, there's been a tremendous increase in our ability to treat seizures. When I started 20 years ago in, in epilepsy care, we had four medications. And now we have over a dozen medications to treat seizures. Being close to each other has allowed us now to have monthly meetings where we get together, we discuss cases, it helps us with the transition of care, because epilepsy is a lifelong disorder. We see it in newborns, we see it in, in you know, 90-year-olds. A good example of you know, how far we have come and how far we still need to go in epilepsy is um, the young lady who um, uh, was a completely normal, happy three-year-old um, until about a year ago when she began to develop seizure activity. And over the course of a little over a year, her seizures actually became so frequent and continuous that she was admitted to our intensive care unit. And the only way we could control her seizures was actually to put her into a coma. The family agreed to go to emergency epilepsy surgery. So she's done fortunately beautifully. She's had no additional um, seizure activity. I chose to come here because you know, of the growth, because of what the potential was here to really change the lives of you know, thousands of children where you really could seamlessly go from you know, identifying new treatments to bringing them into the clinical care of patients. My particular area of focus is on childhood leukemia. That this is the only 21st century medical campus that exists in North America that I'm aware of. Any place on this campus where a patient goes to get treated or any place where research occurs was built in the 21st century. So what you have is a concentration of everybody interested in biomedical research and children's health issues all on the same campus and able to work synergistically. And in the long run, and that's probably much more important than, than the beautiful amenities of the hospital. You know, when I was born, the chance of somebody with ALL being cured was essentially zero. And even, even by the late 60s, the chance of cure was less than 10%. If a child walks into Children's Hospital today and is diagnosed with ALL, they have uh, an 85 or better percent chance of being cured. So it's a big difference over that time. And the fact that we cure 85%, while it's great, it doesn't mean that much to the parents of the 15% of patients we don't care. You know, when I talk to a new family who has a child who's just been diagnosed with cancer, I, I think there's a couple important things we have to do at that time. When I was younger, I used to overwhelm them with medical information, and they'd go out with their eyes spinning. You know, now I think I've understood better that, that we have to give them medical information, obviously. It has to be focused and not with a lot of jargon. But a big part of what we do is we have to give them hope. So I think it's very important that parents go home understanding that their child has a chance of being cured, and they need to decide in their head and in their heart that their child will be cured, and they need to go forward with that. Uh, so my dream is to cure every patient that comes here. When I first started working with cystic fibrosis about 30 years ago now, uh, the, uh, speaking bluntly, the life expectancy was not very good. The median life expectancy then was in the teenage years. Uh, things have gotten better such that the, uh, we're now up to uh, predicted survival of 37 years. With the new hospital, there was a special effort made to accommodate the needs of the cystic fibrosis research program. Research is expensive no matter how you do it. Fortunately, with the help of our philanthropic partners, uh, we do as much clinical research or more than any center in the country. This is also the largest cystic fibrosis care center in the country. 
the families have worked together. They have been terrific. They have always stepped up to the plate for research studies. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to do something that no one has ever done before or to sign for your child to do something that no one has ever done before. I am more optimistic about the possibility of really meaningful treatments now than I ever have been. And there are several that we have in clinical trials right now at Children's Hospital that go at the very heart of the problem. They correct the basic defect in CF. And we have evidence that these are working. If there's the proverbial um, uh, silver lining to the cloud of CF, it's the quality of the doctors here and the proximity of great care, great facilities. And just thank you, uh, Children's Hospital, for all you've done. It's been a life changer for us. As a mom, my, my hope for him is, is that he becomes a grandpa. I will say, and I'm not prone to excitement, but this is by far the most exciting time in CF, and justifiably so.